Welcome back to the classroom. In today's video, I'm giving you the ultimate PC maintenance guide that'll have your computer running like it's just out of the box. So let's get to it. Is your PC running like it's stuck in molasses? Or maybe it's making noises that sound like it's auditioning for a horror movie? Well, you're in the right place because today we're walking through the ultimate computer maintenance guide. First things first, your computer is probably clogged with junk files. We're talking about digital hoarding here, but don't worry, it happens to the best of us. It's time to clean out those junk files your computer hasn't touched since 2017. First up, let's start with CCleaner. This is your PC's personal organizer. It finds the junk files, cache, and temporary data that is no longer needed. We'll go download CCleaner, run a quick scan, and let it wipe out everything your system doesn't need. We'll also put a download link to it in the video notes. But while we're at it, let's go ahead and manually remove some additional temp junk files from your PC. On your keyboard, hit the Windows key plus the R key. It will bring up a run box. In that box, type temp and hit OK. Select all items in the folder and delete. Now, let's hit the Windows key plus the R key again. This time, type percent, temp percent, and hit OK. Again, select and delete all items in the folder. And last time, let's hit the Windows key plus the R key again. This time, type prefetch and hit OK. Select and delete all of these items as well. Okay, if your computer has a traditional hard drive, you know, the kind with actual spinning disks, it's time to defragment. Think of it like cleaning up a messy room by putting everything in order. To defrag your older hard drive, go to the Start menu and type Defragment and Optimize Drives. Click Optimize and Windows will reorganize the data on your disk, making it faster to access. It's like taking all those mismatched socks and pairing them up again. No more scrambling through your files. Just smooth sailing. Now, if you've got an SSD, skip this defrag step. Defragging an SSD is like telling a race car to run laps around a parking lot. Totally unnecessary. So for our SSD, we'll just run a storage sense scan to clean up and reorganize. We'll do a window search for storage sense and run a quick scan. Next up, updates. You know those little annoying messages that pop up right when you're in the middle of something important? Yeah, those are actually kind of important too. Make sure your operating system drivers and apps are up to date often. To start, do a Windows search for update and select to check for updates. I also recommend using a great piece of software called Patch My PC to update all those apps you've been ignoring. Let's go grab Patch My PC real quick and run an update. Updating apps is critical to the PC tune-up process. Everything works smoother and it helps prevent crashes, bugs, and those random freezes that make you want to throw your computer out the window. Now let's talk about what happens when you start your computer. If your PC takes longer to boot than it does for you to make a cup of coffee, there's a good chance you've got too many startup programs. To fix this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard to open Task Manager. Head over to the Startup tab and you'll see all the programs that think they're so important they have to start when you turn on your PC. Right-click and disable anything you don't need right away. Trust me, getting rid of unnecessary startup programs is like telling your PC to take a deep breath and focus. Another thing you'll want is a trusted malware removal program. Some great free options include Road Killer, ADW Cleaner, or Malware Bytes. For this demo, I'm using Malware Bytes, which is excellent for scanning and removing malware. Perform a quick scan to check for common threats. Most malware programs have a quick scan button right on the dashboard. A quick scan usually takes just a few minutes and will detect the most common forms of malware hiding in critical areas like your memory and startup files. If malware is detected, quarantine or delete the files as recommended by your malware software. Finally, 
always keep your antivirus software updated. New threats emerge daily, and staying up to date ensures your computer is protected against the latest malware. If you do not have a valid antivirus software installed, a great free option is AVG. Let's go grab AVG real quick and walk through and install. I'll toss a download link in the video notes as well. Okay, malware and antivirus softwares are in check. Now let's not forget, your PC is a dust magnet. Inside, there's probably enough dust bunnies to knit a sweater, and that's not great for your computer's performance. To clean some of the dust out of a desktop, for example, turn off your computer, unplug it, and open the case. Use a can of compressed air to blow out the dust from your fans, vents, and components. Focus on the power supply and CPU cooler, where dust builds up the most. Keeping your PC clean prevents overheating and keeps everything running smoothly. Plus, your PC will finally stop sounding like an airplane trying to take off. Remember folks, a clean PC is a happy PC, and happy PCs are fast PCs. Before we wrap up, there's one last thing to mention. Backups. Look, I get it. Nobody thinks about backing up their files until they're gone. So let's change that. Set up regular backups to an external hard drive, cloud storage like Google Drive, or use a backup tool like Minitools Shadow Maker. Automate it so you don't have to think about it. Your future self will thank you when something goes wrong. Let's run a quick backup with Minitools Shadow Maker. Okay, our files are cleaned, software updated, no viruses found, and our data is backed up. And that's it. With these simple steps, your PC will be running smoother, faster, and probably happier than it has in years. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in the classroom. Bye-bye, everybody.